What is up guys, 70 Savage here. Today we have a very exciting video. We are going to be going over all of the tools that you will need for any van build. So now that our van is 100% complete, I thought it would be worthwhile to gather all of the tools that I used the most that are applicable for any van build that you could possibly want to do. And I'm gonna go over them one by one. But before we do that, if you are new to the channel, we have spent the last year or so converting this Sprinter van to a full on tiny home. And we have documented every single step along the way. There is a build video on every single aspect of the van here. Uh, you can check any of those out on my channel if you're interested. And before we get into the tools, I wanna give you guys a short miniature van tour just so that you understand what exactly is in this van and what the tools were used for. This is not the van tour, by the way. So if you are interested in seeing that when it comes out, slap that subscribe button below. So let's go ahead and step inside. Here is what what the van looks like on the inside here. You can see we have this ceiling that's actually held up by 100% magnets. A video on that in the channel. Built these upper cabinets, 100% custom out of Baltic birch plywood. We have our little kitchen galley unit with running water. We got a butcher block countertop. We have our swiveling table here. We have our swivel passenger seat. We have our extended bench here that has tons of functionality. We have ourselves a full on toilet. To the right of the toilet, we have a couple outlets, both a 110 AC and a 12 volt DC. We got ourselves a storage drawer in here. All three of these our additional storage, I have my foam roller in that one. On this side right here, we have our electrical control panel. Underneath the electrical control panel is the big daddy of the electrical compartments. Got tons of wires. This is where all of the wiring is piped through. And our battery bank actually sits underneath this inverter here. It's a 250 pound battery bank. We have a massive bed here. This is about a queen size bed. This is actually a sliding bed system. I'm gonna push it over with my hips here. The whole thing slides back and these mattress sections fold over to lie on the back there. Underneath here, there is actually a shower. This thing lifts off and the shower curtain attaches magnetically to the ceiling. I just posted a whole video series on how that was built and all the details. Coming to the outside here, we have our bug net installed, which just rolls down and then there is a magnetic door to get in and out. We got some solar panels on the roof. Moving over to the back here, we have our max air fan. That was a pretty funny video because I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, sometimes I still feel like I, don't. And then under here we have our entire water system. There's a whole video on how this was made. There's a water heater in there, 30 gallon water tank, obviously a fill and a gravity drain spigot. Moving over to this side, we have a gray water tank. And then underneath the van, there is actually a diesel heater that taps directly into the diesel tank of the van. Independent of what your actual build out looks like, I tried to think about all of the tools that would be needed for just a general van build, no matter what the features look like. I used a lot more tools than this. These are just the general tools. There are specific tools for things like electrical, for plumbing, but not everybody has all of that stuff in their van. So I wanted to stick with the most general tools possible. So all in all, there are 17 different tools that we have here. I'm gonna go over them one by one. I'm gonna start with the least used overall, all the way down to the absolute most used tool that I used to build out this van. That being said, even all the way down to number 17, I used quite a bit. And by the way, guys, there are links in the description below to this entire list of tools. I enumerated them one by one, and you can find all of these products down there. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so coming in at number 18, we have our DeWalt circular saw here. This thing is just used to cut straight lines in wood. Um, I used it for probably this piece of plywood, to be honest, as well as a ton of other straight line cuts that I needed throughout the van for like the floor, all of the different cabinets, et cetera, et cetera. As for the blade, I have a finish slash plywood blade to give those nice clean cuts. As you can probably tell, this is a cordless circular saw here. It uses a battery that looks like this. I'm gonna get a little bit deeper into why I chose DeWalt and how the battery system works. Stay tuned for that. Coming in at number 17, we have this block of wood here. Anytime you make a mistake in the van, you're gonna wanna take it and just smack yourself in the head a few times. You'll forget about it. Totally kidding. At number 17, we have ourselves the bar clamps. These are gonna be used anytime you are cutting anything with any of the cutting tools. Uh, you're gonna need to clamp it to your work table to get that cut and make sure the piece doesn't move while you're trying to work with it. Pretty much between these two, I didn't need any more clamps. All right, so coming in at number 16, this is called a center punch. This one's actually called an awl, but it's the same thing, all center punch. What it's used for is marking the location where you want to start drilling a hole. So if you've ever tried 
putting a drill bit in your drill and saying, I want this hole to be right here. You start drilling and then the, the bit just wanders off and ends up nowhere near where you intended to drill that hole. This center punch, the way it works is you line it up, you get your hammer, you smack it a couple times. It leaves an indent in the material that you're going to be drilling so that you can make sure your drill bit doesn't wander and you get that hole drilled in the exact location that you wanted. Coming in at number 15, we got ourselves some industrial scissors. You'd be surprised at how many materials in the van you're gonna be cutting with scissors. Everything from insulation to vinyl to the sound deadening material. I just found myself using scissors all the time, specifically this pair right here. Coming in at number 14, we have our sander. This is a random orbital sander is what it's called. This one's from DeWalt. It is the corded version, not the cordless. One of the few tools that I got corded because these things suck a ton of power and if you do, use the battery with these it runs out too quickly to get your whole piece sanded i thought that was going to be really annoying so i got the corded version anywho uh these sanders work really well there's a dust catcher on them and they work pretty much how you'd expect you turn it on and you sand your stuff for these random orbital sanders you buy sanding discs for this one is a one two three four it is an eight hole sanding disc you buy them in big stacks you slap one on you do the job and when it wears out all you do is they velcro to the bottom here so you rip it off and you replace it with a new one super simple highly recommend these coming in at number 13 we have the big daddy the miter saw this thing works by simply dragging the blade down and while it rotates it cuts perfectly straight lines perfectly either 90 degrees or whatever you turn this to it can go 90 degrees go 45 degrees if you're cutting any kind of like long materials and want to make a lot of cuts in them this is going to make your job a hundred times easier than using any other kind of saw uh, i also use this for all of the aluminum extrusions for like the sliding bed system i use two different blades for the miter saw i use the one in here which is a fine tooth blade this one i use for all of the aluminum pieces this one is just the blade that it came with it's a 32 tooth wood cutting blade. To be honest, I would not buy this exact miter saw if I were to do another band build. This one was expensive, it's a 12 inch. As I mentioned, I had no idea what I was doing when I was getting into this, so I just got this one. Um, but what I will do is I'll put a link in the description below of what I would buy with the knowledge that I have now. All right, at number 12, we have ourselves the very handy tool. This thing's called a Dremel. The way that it works is you turn it on and it just spins really fast. Um, there's a bunch of different bits that you can put on the tip like sanding bits or cutting bits But I use this to do a lot of fine cutting of like steel or fine cutting of aluminum Sanding things down that are really really hard to get to it's kind of just a general purpose tool That you use for cutting and sanding all sorts of different materials love this thing I got the cordless version you don't have to get the cordless version But with most of my tools I did go cordless just because it's so convenient not having that cord You can do a lot more precise work and in general I try to lean towards the cordless ones for things that work well cordless All right coming in at number 11. We have a uh, safety gear in general There's a few different things here pretty self-explanatory. We got earmuffs glasses gloves and then very importantly, knee pads. You're gonna be spending a lot of time on your knees. Coming in at number 10, we got ourselves a vacuum cleaner. This is actually two vacuum cleaners. Um, I started with this one and I ended up buying this one. I think you could probably get away with this one. It's really, really cheap. This is like one of the cheapest ones on Amazon. It works pretty well. This is the uh, little bit more expensive version of it. I'll put a link to both of these in the description below. Uh, pick whichever one you want. It is super, super important as you're building stuff in the van, as you're creating tons of sawdust and there is just shrapnel flying everywhere. You wanna be vacuuming stuff as you go. Um, if you leave that stuff to sit and then you build on top of it, it's never gonna come out and it's gonna sit in there and like collect dust and mold and everything that you don't want. So vacuum everything that you do. Similar to the vacuum cleaner, we have the cleaning, but for the outside, and that is gonna be the air compressor. This one is a small, quiet pancake air compressor is what they call it. Um, and most of the time I just have this spray nozzle on it. So this is just gonna allow you to spray down your work, clear all of the sawdust out that you're creating. But I also use this for like the brad nailer. So what you can do is attach a thing called a brad nailer. And when you're building cabinets, you put nails into it. I use this for almost every single project in the van. Number nine. Next up at number eight, we have ourselves handy dandy screwdrivers. You wanna get yourself a good screwdriver set. Uh, this is both Phillips heads and flat heads. I'll put a link to these in the description below. Pretty self-explanatory, but 
they're good to have. Number seven, we have ourselves the ratchet set. This is a compact ratchet set. I actually carry this with me in the van at all times. It allows you to put torque in one direction and then alleviate the torque in the other one. There's lots of things in the van that have bolts on them as it is a car at the end of the day. So having a ratchet set is gonna be really useful. By the way, at the end of the video, I'm gonna do a quick list of what I carry in the van on a daily basis and the things that I leave here at the workshop. Coming in at number six, we got ourselves the old wrench set. This one is also optimized to be uh, small and compact as I carry this in the van. Lots of bolts in the van, lots of things you need to tighten down. Wrenches are your friend. The big one in particular is really good because if somebody breaks into your van, you can just whack them with it. Another one you guys are probably familiar with, a tape measure. I like this one in particular because as you saw, by default, it sticks and then you choose to suck it back in. I don't know, it's a preference thing. If you're building a custom fabricated van, you gotta measure everything out. So get one of these. Coming in at number four, we have ourselves Allen keys. They are both metric and imperial. Tons of bolts in the van, as I said, and a lot of them have hex heads. So you're gonna find yourself using Allen keys for all sorts of different things. I actually still use these all the time for random projects in the van, like if I need to adjust the bed. These are very good to have and that's why they're so high on the list. Coming in at number three, we have our good friend, the drill. Probably heard of this before, if not, I apologize, I guess. If you haven't started building your van yet, just get a general set of bits. These are just standard bits. And then as you start building out the van, you're gonna need different things like hole saw bits, four center bits. Getting into the big ones here, we have number two. We have number two on the list, measuring tools. I guess I probably could have grouped these with the measuring tape. That would have been way too much thinking ahead. And having a right angle tool and having a, you know, a yardstick or a meter stick that's rigid that you can use to draw straight lines, you're gonna use when you're building everything. So that's why I have these at number two. Get some measuring tools. Are you ready for number one? Coming in at number one, the moment you have all been waiting for, we have ourselves the jigsaw. I can't explain how much I use this jigsaw. I actually have a very dirty secret. I shared with you at number 18 or whichever one was first, the circular saw for cutting straight lines. To be honest, I ended up cutting even most of my straight lines with the jigsaw. Painful, but you're gonna end up being a god with a jigsaw by the end of your van build. There are so many curved lines to begin with that you're gonna need to use a jigsaw for. I love this tool. I have my best memories from the van and also my worst memories from the van have come from this jigsaw. Funny story, when I cut the hole for the Max fan, I used this jigsaw. I had never used a jigsaw before. I stuck it in the roof. I was like, let's rip it. I sent it and the jigsaw goes bouncing across the roof of the van. It left a bunch of gouges. I just sat up there on my first project of the van build like, that almost ended the entire channel. That almost ended the entire van build. That's a negative story. There are a lot of actual great stories that came out of this jigsaw. As you notice, the jigsaw is cordless. It uses the exact same battery that I use in the drill and some of my other cordless DeWalt tools. You also might notice that I am a DeWalt guy. There are like four or five different generic brands of tools. At the end of the day, they're all pretty similar. The way that I made my decision before I got into this van build is I just went to their websites. I looked at how many power tools they had, I looked at the ratings on Amazon for all of the most popular types of power tools. And at that time, DeWalt had, you know, what I felt was the best variety and best ratings. I do still recommend these tools. I'm by no means a DeWalt fanboy, but if I were to do another van build or any other construction build, I would stick with DeWalt again. They're just good quality. They've held up. I haven't had any issues with the tools themselves. Um, they're a little pricey. The batteries are pretty pricey. The way that I did it is I just bought this one battery. I'm pretty sure this was really expensive. This was like a hundred bucks or something. The charger came with the drill and the battery works for everything. So I just use this one battery for the jigsaw, the drill, the circular saw, everything that I needed. As for the blades, I just got this uh, variety pack of DeWalt blades when I started the build, and these have been perfect for everything. There we have it, guys. That is the list of tools that you are going to need for any van build. And I actually do carry a lot of these tools with me in the van at all times. I will put that list of tools on the screen right here. I haven't had any breakdowns or anything like that or anything go wrong, but I have used like the screwdrivers and the Allen keys for just fiddling around, doing things here and there. Like I swapped out my outlets the other day and I used the screwdriver 
screwdrivers for that. And man, I have so many memories just looking at all these tools. So if you guys use other tools for your van build that I did not mention in this video, put those in the comment section below. If you like this video, slap that like button below. That really helps out the channel. If you're interested in more van life related videos in the future, including the van tour for this guy right here, slap that subscribe button below. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I will see you guys next time.